everyone, welcome to Saturday Morning Yoga with me, Jamie. It's great to have you here. Clear some space, gather everyone together, get the mums, get the dads, get the brothers and the sisters, get all the pets as well involved, and let's enjoy some family yoga time together. Today is an absolute epically brilliant story. It's Moana. I love Moana. We can all be inspired and learn from her. She's a determined and strong young woman, and she follows her heart and she bounces back from every challenge. So let's stop standing at the edge of the water and see how far we can go. It's Moana. Hello everyone, welcome to Cosmic Kids. I'm Jamie and this is your place for yoga, stories and fun. It's easy, just copy the moves I do and enjoy the adventure. Now we always start in the same way and that's by sitting on our bottoms, crossing our legs and bringing our hands together at our hearts and saying our secret yoga code word, which is Namaste. Ready? After three. One, two, three. Namaste. There. Now we're ready to begin and today we've got a special adventure which is inspired by the Disney movie Moana. So we're off to a Polynesian island called Motunui which is where Moana lives and that's why I'm wearing my flower crown. But before we go we have to go back in time to learn about the legend of a goddess called Tefiti. Coming up to stand in goddess pose everyone, taking your feet wide, turning your toes out and bending your knees. Take your arms out wide and bring up your hands coming into your goddess pose. Now Tefiti is the goddess that breathes life into the oceans and the islands. Let's breathe in and lift up and let's breathe out and send life to all of the oceans. We breathe in and lift up and we breathe out and we give life to all of the islands. Now Tefiti has a beautiful green stone at her heart which has got a spiral shape on it. Let's come into rock pose. Coming down onto your knees, we fold our body forwards over our legs and take our head down. Now this is where she gets all of her life-giving power from. But one day it gets stolen by the demigod Maui. Coming up to stand in our Maui pose. Up we come with our legs wide and our arms wide. We turn our hands, make them into fists and bring them up, showing our muscles. Now we give them a kiss like Maui does. Mwah. Mwah. He takes the stone and he uses his magical fish hook. Let's come into our fish hook pose. Turning to the side, reach one of your arms up and take your other hand to the other side. Now see if you can balance and try and get your foot behind you. Whoop! Try not to wobble. And see if you can kick your foot a little bit coming into your fish hook pose. Yes! Well done everyone. But he turns himself into a hawk and he flies away to escape. Now see if you can stretch your leg back behind you, your arms out to the side, coming into your flying pose and coming up to stand well done everyone but on his way escaping he gets attacked by a lava demon called Tekar coming into our volcano pose down onto your knees everyone hands down in between your knees as we breathe in let's lift up here we go and as we breathe out let's whoosh lava to the sky whoosh and again breathing in and whoosh some lava Whoosh! Oh no, this sends Maui's fish hook and the heartstone of Tafiti flying into the ocean. Now, a thousand years later, on the island of Motunui, Moana is a baby girl. Let's come into rock the baby pose. Sitting on your bottoms with your legs out long in front of you. Take hold of one of your feet and pop it in the crook of your elbow. Now give it a little cuddle, like you're cradling a little baby Moana. Oh, she's so sweet. Now she is in fact the daughter and heir to the chief of Motunui. Let's switch sides, popping your leg down, lifting up the other one and putting that in your elbow and giving your baby a little cradle on the other side. Oh, baby Moana. She loves stories and she really enjoys playing with the ocean. She likes running towards it. Coming up to stand everyone and let's run into the waves with Moana. 
run, run, run into the waves. But all of a sudden, a beautiful green stone appears. It's the heart stone of Tafiti. Moana squats all the way down and she scoops up the beautiful stone. Wow, it's so beautiful. It has chosen her. All of a sudden, her father Tui calls for her and she stands up. Oh dear, she drops the stone back in the water. Moana's daddy doesn't like how much the water seems to call to her. Now Moana is 16 years old, bringing your hands onto your hips and standing nice and proud. Moana is now chief in training. But the island of Motunui is running out of food. Let's have a look inside the coconuts. Coming into coconut pose, sitting on your bottoms, drawing the soles of your feet together, holding onto your feet and folding your head all the way down towards your toes. Now we look inside the coconut by lifting up our heads. Here we go. Oh no, they're all black and burnt inside. And what about the fish? Let's come into fish pose. Sitting up nice and tall and point your toes away from you. Now come down onto your elbows and pop, pop, pop your chest up to the sky, maybe looking up or back behind you in your fish pose. Now all the fish look to be gone from the ocean too. Coming up to sit, everyone. Moana goes against her father's wishes and she takes a little boat beyond the reef to go and find more fish coming into boat pose. Take your hands behind you and lift up one foot, lift up two, lift up one hand, lift up no hands. Oh dear, but she goes with her little pet pig, Paw. Sitting up nice and tall, everyone. Take your feet wide, keeping your knees bent. Take your hands inside your feet and open your shoulders coming into your piggy paw pose. And let's make a little noise like paw as well. Very good. But the ocean is so rough and it rocks and rolls them all over the place. Coming into rock and roll pose. Sitting up nice and tall, hug your knees and then tuck your chin. We're going to rock all the way back and all the way up. Ready? One, two, three. Whoop! Whee! And again, one, two, three. Whoop! Whee! Well done, everyone. Oh dear, it throws them out of their boat and they have to swim on their tummies back to the shore. Coming to your tummy, everyone, lying all the way down and using your feet and your hands and your arms to swim back to the shore. Now waiting there for Moana is her grandmother, Tala, who wants to help Moana learn her destiny. So she takes her to a secret cave. Coming up to stand, everyone. Let's come into our cave pose. Taking our feet wide and our arms wide, bring your hands above your head, making your palms touch above your head. Inside this cave, there are the most beautiful, huge boats. Coming to boat pose, onto our bottoms, everyone. Taking your hands back behind you. Lift up one foot, lift up two, lift up one hand, lift up no hands. There's also the most enormous waterfall in the cave. Lying down on your back, spreading your arms wide and pointing your toes up to the sky. Yes. Now Moana must bang the drum three times to find out who she really is. So we cross our legs and we rock up to sit. Yes. Turning to the front, everyone. We bang the drum three times. Here we go. Bang, bang. Moana looks through her cosmonoculars, joining your thumbs and fingers together. Have a look through. Wow! She sees. I am a voyager, sailing and discovering new islands across the world. I must make the island well again. Lowering your hands, everyone. Moana comes up to stand from cross-legged without touching her hands on the floor. Ready? and she runs out of the cave to tell her grandmother, I am a voyager! Now that night, Moana's grandmother Tala falls ill and she lies in her tent, coming to lie on your back, everyone, your arms and your legs long. All of this time, Moana's grandmother has been looking after something, that green stone heart of Tafiti. She reaches up, to give it to her granddaughter now as she says, go, the ocean chose you. You must find Maui 
and return the heart to Tafiti. And with that, she lies back and takes her last breath. Coming up to sit, everyone. Moana knows now what she must do. She must find Maui. So she sets sail in one of the big boats. Taking your hands back behind you, lift up one foot, lift up two, lift up one hand, lift up no hands. Now lift up your mast, setting sail. Now, Moana realises the following day that she's not alone. Stowed away is in fact her funny pet rooster. Hey, hey, let's come into our chicken pose. Up onto your tippy toes, everyone, and using your fingers to help you balance in your crouch position. Now see if you can take your fingers off. Oop, try not to wobble. Put your hands on your hips, roll your shoulders back and make yourself two little chicken wings. And let's make our chicken noise. Yes. Now following along behind her is the spirit of her grandmother as a beautiful sparkling white manta ray. Coming onto your tummies everyone, taking your arms wide and pointing your toes back behind you. We lift up our chests as we soar through the ocean like a manta ray. Whoosh! But that night, later on, Moana and Hei Hei are hit by a big storm. Coming up to stand everyone, with your legs wide and your arms wide, we begin to spin. The lightning bolts from the sky. Oh no! And there's claps of thunder above our heads. Let's clap our hands. And there's more lightning as we spin a little bit more. And there's another clap of thunder. Clapping your hands. Oh no! The boat goes upside down, bringing your hands onto your hips and folding your body all the way forwards to look upside down through your legs. Ah! Rolling back up to stand, Moana and Hey Hey huddle up together, sitting on your bottoms, giving your knees a big cuddle. They hold on tight to the boat and they close their eyes, hoping that they're going to be okay. Ah! And in the morning when they wake up, they open their eyes and they find that they're in fact stranded on a desert island. Moana can hear something, so she rubs her ears from the bottoms all the way round to the tops. It's the sound of her voice. It's Maui, the demigod's voice, coming up to stand in our Maui pose. Legs wide, arms wide. Make your hands into fists and bring them up to show us your muscles. Now let's give them a kiss like Maui does. Mwah. Moana demands that he comes onto her boat and that he helps her restore the heart to Tafiti. But Maui's got other ideas and he puts Moana in a cave. Reach your arms all the way up above your head. He wants to steal her boat so that he can go and find his magical fish hook. But Moana's clever. Moana uses yoga to escape from the cave. Coming to sit in bridge pose, everyone. Knees bent, feet flat, hands behind you, and lift your bottom up to wiggle out of a hole in the roof of the cave. Moana comes up to stand. She reaches her arms above her head and she dives forward, folding all the way down to get back onto the boat. Now Maui tries to throw her off again, but the ocean wave keeps rolling her all the way back up to stand on it and keeps putting her back on. Maui turns to the front and he crosses his big arms. He refuses to help her return the heart stone. He says it will attract dark creatures. But uh-oh, coming towards them now, it's the tiny coconut pirates, the Kokomora. Crouching down in a squat pose, everyone, and snuggle your arms in, making yourself into a tiny coconut pirate with your fingers and your face. Arrrr. They want the heart stone too, and they fire arrows at Moana's boat, coming into archer pose. Sitting on your bottoms, legs out long, take two fingers between your big toe and your second toe. Now draw your elbow and your knee all the way back and see if you can reach to touch your other toes. After three, let's fire the arrow. One, two, three, pew! Yes, let's do it on the other side. Two fingers between your big toe and your second toe. Bring your elbow and your knee all the way back and reach forward with your fingers. Ready? After three, one, two, three, pew! 
they fire zip wires onto the boat to slide down, coming into slide pose, taking your feet all the way forward, pointing your toes and taking your hands back behind you. Fingers point towards your bottom. Now press your whole body up in the air, making yourself into a slide. Yee-haw! Now Moana and Maui, in just the nick of time, with Hey Hey, manage to escape sitting on your bottoms. And let's go, phew! Goodness me. Now Maui just wants to be a hero. So let's come into hero pose, just for him. Up onto your knees, everyone. Take your hands in front of you and your feet wide. Snuggle your bottom down in between your ankles and crisscross your fingers, turning them inside out. Now lift them up above your head, coming into your hero pose. Now if that's a bit ouchy on your knees, you can lift your bum, bring your feet back under and sit back on your heels. Yes! Now Maui knows that he did wrong by taking the heart stone and he agrees to help her put it back. But first he needs to find his magical fish hook. And that means going to the realm of monsters, to Lalatai. Ah! Now Moana sits with her legs crossed. She wishes to sail. And she asks Maui with her hands in Namaste, teach me to be a wayfinder. Maui has a powerful lesson for Moana. He tells her that she needs to see where she wants to go in her mind before she goes there. That's a very good lesson. Mm. Now the next day they arrive at a very big mountain. Coming up to stand in mountain pose everyone, your feet hip distance apart, your arms down by your sides. This is Lalatai, the realm of monsters. Maui and Moana climb up the mountain together. Here we go. Up we go, up we go, up we, up we, up we go. At the top, Maui does a special dance. Jump your feet wide and bend your knees. He takes hold of one of his elbows as he says, Anix. Then he does it on the other side. Anix. Then he flutters and shimmers his hands all around as he says, Howie. He puts his hands on his hips and he does a big blow. <gasps> Suddenly a giant floor door opens beneath them, holding onto opposite elbows and lift them up above your head. Now Maui, followed by Moana, jump down into the hole. After three, let's jump down to crouch, ready? One, two, three, boing! Oh. At the bottom, there are lots and lots of monsters. Coming into our monster pose, everyone. Take your feet wide, holding onto your ankles. Let's lift up our feet as we clomp about like a monster. Clump, 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 clump. Rolling all the way back up to stand. Now the scariest and sparkliest of all the monsters is in fact a giant crab called Tamatoa, who has a beautiful gold encrusted shell. Lots of treasures on it, coming into our crab pose. Sitting on your bottoms, knees bent, feet flat, hands behind you and lift your bottom up. Now he's a right gold digger and he loves everything shiny. So we're gonna go digger, digger, digger and kick our leg and say shiny, come on. Digger, 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 shiny. And the other way, digger, 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 shiny. Then Maui spots it, his fish hook, it's right on his back. Coming up into our fish hook pose, everyone. Standing up, taking your arm up, taking your hand to the side. Now holding onto your foot behind you, trying not to wobble as you kick your foot a little bit, coming into your fish hook pose. Yes, well done. Maui sneaks up on his tiptoes to go and get the fish hook. But he's a bit rusty with his magic and Tamatoa catches him in a big crab claw hug. Turning to the front, arms wide and wrap yourself up in a big crab claw hug. Help! Now Moana escapes from the cage she's been put in, taking big steps through some squelchy glow in the dark stuff. Coming to the side and take a big step, ready? Big squelchy step. And stepping her back again and again. Big squelchy step into the green glow in the dark slime. 
This gives her an idea. She finds a barnacle. Coming into our barnacle oyster pose, sitting on your bottoms, soles of your feet together, holding onto your feet and folding your head all the way forwards. Now Moana covers the barnacle in the green glow-in-the-dark slime. So now it looks exactly like the green heart stone of Tefiti. She throws it up in the air, so Tamatoa goes chasing after it. Coming into a crouch position, onto your tippy toes, everyone. After three, we're going to jump up. Ready? One, two, three. Woo! He goes after it because he loves treasure so much. And Maui and Moana can escape. Phew! Now Maui can practice using his fish hook and turning himself into some animals. But he's not really very good when he starts out. He starts off by turning himself into a shark head. Coming into our shark head pose, everyone. Lying on your tummies and crisscrossing your fingers behind your back. Lift up your shark fin and loll from side to side. Oh dear, this isn't much good. Then he turns himself into a starfish. Coming up to stand in your starfish pose. Legs wide, arms wide. Oh dear. Next, he turns himself into a chicken, like hey hey. Oh, coming into our chicken pose. Feet together, crouching all the way down. Now, seeing if you can balance with your hands on your hips, your shoulders and your elbows all the way back, and making a chicken sound. And finally, he turns himself back into Maui again, except this time he's lying on his tummy with a shark's tail. Oh, coming onto your tummy, everyone. Hands under your shoulders and cross your ankles. Now lift and lower your feet like you've got a shark's tail. I don't know. Coming up to sit, he needs more practice. Moana, on the other hand, has been really learning how to sail and she's finally learnt how to read the stars in the sky. Coming up into our star pose, taking your feet wide and your arms wide. Maui thinks she's ready and he gives her the oar to steer the boat. Let's take the oar now, everyone. Sitting on your bottoms, legs out long. Take hold of one of your feet to be your oar. Moana knows what she should do. And she rows towards Tefiti, across the sea, to return the heartstone. Let's sing together. Row, row, row the boat, gently cross the sea. We need to get the heartstone to Tefiti. There's a bit further to go, so she rows with the other oar. Putting that one down, lifting up the other side. Let's row again. Here we go. Row, row, row the boat, gently cross the sea. We need to get the heartstone to Tefiti. They arrive at Tefiti, but Teikar is there again, erupting her lava bombs. Coming into your volcano pose again, everyone. Onto your knees, hands down. Let's breathe in and lift up. And let's breathe out with a whoosh of lava to the sky. Whoosh. Breathing in, lift up. And whooshing some lava. Whoosh. Oh no, it manages to crack and burn Maui's fish hook. He's very angry about this. And he turns himself into a hawk and he flies away. Coming up in our flying pose on the other side now, everyone. Standing tall, lift up one of your legs, try not to wobble. Now send your foot all the way back behind you, using your arms for balance. Make your leg as strong as you can be in your flying pose. And coming all the way up to stand. He's left Moana and Hey Hey all by themselves on the boat again. Sitting down, Moana hugs her knees. She thinks, I'm clearly not the one to return the heartstone to Tefiti. She comes onto her knees and she reaches up with the heartstone, handing it back to the ocean as she says, choose someone else to return it. The ocean takes the stone from her and she lowers her arms. But as she does, the spirit of her grandmother appears on the boat, Tala, to give her a big hug. Coming up onto your knees, everyone, your arms wide, and wrap yourself up in that beautiful, warm, loving hug. She helps Moana find her inspiration again, and Moana believes in herself.
She sits back on her heels, brings her hands to prayer at her heart, and she sings. Come what may, I'll find a way. Then with a twinkle in her eye, with real determination, she says, I am Moana. Then she surfs on her boat with Hey Hey all by herself, back to Tafiti. Coming up into surfer pose, everyone. Stepping one leg forward, one leg back, and bend your knee. Open your arms up and out, and let's surf back to Teka and Tafiti. Whoosh! When she gets there, Tekar is waiting for her and she chases Moana. So Moana jumps and surfs the other way. One, two, three, whoosh! Tekar follows her and Moana finds a way in. Just in the nick of time, Maui returns as a whale to splash Tekar. Coming into whale pose, lying on your backs, everyone. Knees bent, feet flat, hands down by your sides. Let's lift up our hips as we go bubble, 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 splash. And then lowering them all the way back down. He then turns himself into a shark again, but this time a full shark. Rolling over onto your tummies, everyone, and take your hands behind your back. Lift up your shark fin and let's loll and nibble take Car's arm. Nibble, 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 nibble. Coming up to stand, everyone. This gives Moana her chance and she climbs up the mountain with the heart stone. Here we go. Up we go, up we go, up we, up we, up we go. At the top, she takes a big step to see Tefiti. Coming to the side and let's take a big step forwards. Here we go. Big step. Tefiti isn't there. Moana turns to face the other way and she looks back at Tekar. Now she sees in Tekar's heart the same spiral shape of the heart stone and she understands Tekar is Tefiti. She stretches her legs long and she holds up the stone, pointing it directly at Tekar so it beams brightly towards her and catches Tekar's eye. Tekar begins to crawl like a tiger towards Moana. Coming down onto your hands and your knees, everyone. Reach forward with one hand, reach back with your opposite leg and crawl like Tekar. And the other way, reach forward with one hand, back with your other leg and Moana has total faith and she sits back on her heels. She bows her head forward, her head meeting with Tekar's head as she takes one hand on top of the other, presses her hands forward with the heart stone inside it into Tekar's heart as she says, you will know who you truly are. And then the magic happens. Tekar suddenly turns back into Tefiti growing up green and tall. Sitting on your bottoms, everyone, legs out in front of you. Sweep your legs round to one side. Tafiti sweeps round, twisting all the way around her to return life to the oceans and the islands. Then she goes the other way, taking your legs the other side, sweeping all the way round, twisting around to bring Maui a new fish hook and Moana a brand new boat. Crossing your legs, Maui and Moana say namaste. Namaste. Now Moana returns home to Motunui with Hei Hei as a hero. She teaches the villagers to become voyagers again. So they set sail in their boats. Coming into our boat pose, everyone. Sitting up tall, lift up one leg, lift up two, lift up one hand, lift up no hands. Bravely they go exploring and discovering new islands across the world. We lie ourselves all the way back now, our legs and our arms long, taking a few moments to enjoy some peaceful rest time after what has been such an epic adventure. We learnt so much along the way with Moana. We learnt how to truly believe in ourselves. That when times get hard, we can always dig a little bit deeper and we can always find the power and the strength that we need. 
That belief in ourselves is what sits at the core of it all. With determination, we can do anything. Even the little people can do extraordinary things. All it takes is that belief. And we also learn to become wayfinders. That amazing lesson about seeing where we must want to go in our minds before we go there. That's what makes it happen the power of our mind. We will always win if we believe in ourselves. Come what may, we'll find a way. Now it's time to wake up. So we wiggle our fingers, we wiggle our toes. We take a big stretch, pointing our toes and our arms away from us then drawing our knees into our chest, giving them a cuddle and rolling over onto our sides. We open our eyes as we come up to sit and we cross our legs and bring our hands together at our hearts. And we finish just the way we started with our secret yoga code word, which is Namaste. Ready? After three. One, two, three. Namaste. Well done, everyone. Thanks for coming on the Moana adventure with me. You were amazing. I hope you come back soon for another Cosmic Kids adventure. Bye bye. Yeah. That was great. Well done, you. Now, let's get the volume turned up, get ready to sing, to dance, and enjoy ourselves in the yoga disco. Hello, everyone. Welcome to the Cosmic Kids Yoga Disco. I'm Jamie, and this is your place for yoga, dancing, and lots of fun. It's easy. Just copy the moves I do and enjoy the disco. This one's called Washing Machine Asonga, where we do our washing machine move and our tumble dryer move. First you get into the groove with the washing machine a move. Then you build up the fire as you blow your tumble dryer. Sit down and cross your legs and put your hands behind your head. Then twist from side to side, let the rhythm be your guide. Wish a wash a wish a wash a wish a wash a woo. Wish a wash a wish a wash a wish a wash a woo. Let's take it to our fingers, make like a tumble dryer. Then you blow and blow and blow, and see your fingers start to roll. Blow a roll a blow a roll a blow a roll a blow. Blow a roll a blow a roll a blow a roll a blow. Wish a wash a wish a wash a wish a wash a woo. Wish a wash a wish a wash a wish a wash a woo. Wish a wash a mamba. Wish a wash a samba. Wish a wash a rumba. Washing machine a song. Rolling with the limbo. Rolling to the beat of the bongo. Rolling with the mambo. Washing machine a song. Making my tummy stronger. Washing machine a song. Rumbly tumble dryer, let's take the music. Aye, wish a wash a wish a wash a wish a wash a woo. Blow a roll a blow a roll a blow a roll a blow. Everybody loves to dance and spin themselves around. Twisting side to side, we love the salsa sound. Washing machine a sanga, washing machine a sanga. Rumbly tumble dryer, now we all fun over. That was brilliant. Well done, you. Now we're going to get the wriggles out. We're going to use some energy with a really exciting game of super yoga. In super yoga, you copy the moves as they come down on the screen and you score points for doing the poses. And at the end, you get a lovely relaxation where all the goodness of the points goes into your body. I hope you love it. Super yoga.
Go. Butterfly Pose. 